Hi, my name is David Powell. Welcome to The Golden Thread, Resilience, How to Develop Resilience. Let me read you a definition first and then we'll explore it. Resilience is the ability to cope with unexpected changes and challenges in your life. It's not always possible to prevent stressful or adverse situations, but you can strengthen your capacity to deal with these challenges. So let's explore how you can strengthen your capacity to deal with the challenges that will inevitably confront you on your journey through life. Okay, we'll take this step by step. As a metaphor, consider if you're in a boat out at sea and the sea is very rough. Where do they tell you to look? What happens if you look at the bottom of the boat? You feel seasick. What happens if you look at the waves? You feel seasick. They tell you to look at the horizon. Why? Because the horizon is what's called the stable data point. It remains stable while the boat gets tossed around. Now, challenges in life are inevitable. It just goes with the territory. So the question becomes, do you have a horizon for the type of life that you want to create for you? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Who do you want to do it with? Friends, all these questions about the life you would like to create in the decades ahead for you. Write down the key components, the goals, short term, medium, long term, and then consider putting them all into a picture. You can either create a vision board or draw a vision. Why put it into pictures? Well, when communicating with you or anybody else, the picture's always worth a thousand words. What does your life horizon look like? Mountains, palm trees, beaches, deserts, Ferraris, shopping trips to Paris and London. It doesn't matter. It's your life. Because once you've got a vision of your life, put it somewhere where it's visible, the back of your bedroom door, wherever you're going to see it frequently. Here's the point. Whenever life's challenges come at you and you're going, oh, my goodness, I can't cope. You just look at that vision and go, hang on a minute. This is like David said, the water's getting rough, the boat is rocking, there are waves. I have to look at the horizon, my horizon, my life vision. Does that make sense so far? Another useful resilience key is not only to have your life vision so you can anchor on that when life gets turbulent, but tap into the feelings. What will it feel like for you when you've achieved your life vision? Positive, powerful, deep feelings. So. Every time it gets stormy, not only look at your vision, remember how it will feel when you've nailed it. Ooh, 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 that can give you some internal resilience and strength. Second resilience strategy. Once you've got a vision, get a set of strategies, a set of plans that are coming back from that vision. So you know what you're going to do tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, five years out. Because once you've got a set of plans, you've got yourself a life game plan. Then when life gets challenging and stormy, again, not only now if you've got the vision, you've got a set of plans, a set of almost rope bridges that you can hold on to to give yourself resilience so you can resist the challenges, resist the turmoil. Is that making sense? Tools to give you inner resilience because you know where you're going, your life, your way. There are other tools you can learn, but these first two basics a life vision and a set of strategies will get you started. If you need more help, our Life Journey Skills course has a number of free videos that will help you understand more about you and how to gain inner strength. You can access them here. So make a start, build your internal resilience, because it's not a question of will the challenges show up, how are you going to handle them when they do show up? Make sense? Have a go.